Welcome everyone to Let's Play Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire, otherwise known as Target in Sight in Other Countries. Let's get started. Uh, let's first go to options and turn down this music. I got a feeling it's a little too loud. That should be good enough right there. Alright. Let's start a new game. Uh, we got multiple options with this game. Obviously continue if you got a save game, new game, versus mode. Unfortunately there's not an online mode that I could find. Um, obviously install, you got your basic options with control and general settings. We'll go back to title screen. Um, Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire was a launch title of PlayStation 3 when it first came out. Um, unfortunately the game was obviously rushed to market. There's definitely some bugs to say the least. I actually got this game when it first came out and absolutely fell in love with it. It uh, really takes the tone of the 8th MS team and puts it in game form. The mobile suits are clunky, unweedly, and just act like giant 60 foot mechs probably should. So uh, let's go start a new game. You can just go as the Earth Federation forces and or Xeon. Uh, I think we'll go with Xeon first. Uh, I truly did enjoy this game. I played it a lot. Um, I did do some play testing to make sure I got the uh, settings correct. And. I remember this game very specifically now you only do Xeon or Federation. You can't just bounce back and forth between the two like some other games. So we'll just mark that up as for later use. Yeah, we'll go with normal. How bad could I possibly be? Actually January third, Universal Century, 0079. The colony furthest from the Side 3 declared war on the Earth Federation under the name of the Principality of Xeon. This marked the beginning of what would be known as the One Year War. Using massive humanoid weapons known as mobile suits, Xeon quickly overpowered the resource rich Federation. In only one month of initial fighting, nearly half of the human population was lost. However, this tragedy of devastation was but a prelude of things to come. As the war became a stable, the fighting spread to engulf all corners of the globe. The earth became shrouded in a cloud of death and despair. Battlefields were marked by the smell of gunpowder and charred steel. The hellish war seemed to all as if it would carry on for all eternity. However, after ten months of conflict, the war began to move into a new phase. Alright, that basically kind of explains the initial part of the one year war which Mobile Suit Gundam is famous for. The Southeast Asian Front. Oof. Trees are kind of blinking out. I'm using an emulator. I'm using PCS3 um, to emulate my game. Um, I actually downloaded the game with the. I'll keep quiet during this. Obviously we got a map up in our uh, right up right hand corner. The Federation has sent mobile suits into battle. We're counting on you to help us out. We're uh, shooting type 61 tanks. Kind of useless. Um, as I was saying, top right corner has your map, top left has your mobile suit status. You can actually lose limbs in this game, which is really cool. I've I don't see any other mobile suit games doing that. And it's pretty cool in my opinion. Yep, yep, yep. 
AI is not exactly smart, but this is a what we call it a training mission. Reinforcements are approaching. Uh, bottom left is your boost, and obviously you got your machine gun ammunition. If you go to start menu, it actually gives you an overview of your map plus some uh, legend for what your targets are and uh, allies and enemies and stuff like that. Wreck you! Oh, no, no, no. And did. Oh, and you can cut stuff up. say that again. I mean, this is the turn of the tide for the uh, one-year war, and the Xeon will not really recover, because the Federation will flood them with mobile suits and everything else. Obviously, the results this is where you get battle points, battle points, buy upgrades, more pilots, and pretty much uh, new weapons and such like that, so you can upgrade your suit. If you do perfect like that, all 100 percent you get a clear type S rank. Then it goes A, B, and C, I think. Uh, unfortunately, this game's tutorial, tutorial, yeah, whatever, isn't exactly very good. So you really need to read a manual and uh, understand how to actually use each button because they don't teach you anything. Again, you can tell this game was rushed to market. Message from the Southeast Asian Command: The situation is going bad. While well, small in scale, they're getting their butts whooped. Although it has not been made an announcement, the Federation is experimenting with deploying MS. Yeah, basically. Basically, you are a mil uh, mercenary force. You are given the ranks and everything like that. You'll be able to buy mobile suits using points. Uh, I'll just explain going through the days. I'll show you more here in a minute. Let you know you added them map, and you're going to have a mission there. That's an extra pilot they give you. Yep. You can bring up the two pilots into the two extra allies into battle. This is supposedly leveling up your character. I've not experienced... I've played this game a lot, and I don't remember a good character making the... for a lot of points making a difference. So I can't say if that's all that helpful. I will say what is helpful once we get here in the hangar bay. Let's check the mission though first. As you see in the top right, you have your year and the date. Missions go by dates. And this next period will be 10 7, so you got three days to get ready. Oop, one button. <laughs> Alright, this is your hangar. You see that? Poor, that's my health status. Uh, the game does a pretty good job. Uh, you can go from, I think, it completely exhausted. It's red, poor is bad, obviously. Then you got normal, good, and very good. Very good. You can tell the difference between poor and very good, like how your the mobile suit reacts. There's a slight hesitation. And it's kind of weird to express how that makes a difference. But basically, if you're poor. Or very good, very good. The mobile suit reacts a lot better. You can customize the mobile suit by upgrading the attack, weapon, and defense. You can also change the type. Uh, heavy makes you um, stronger, more uh, raises your defense, makes you a lot more tougher to defeat, and also changes your color. The say the jungle, desert, and marine is supposed to make a difference too, but I've not experienced the difference. I think it defense does work though. Um, I usually go with weapon because the more weapon you upgrade, the more new weapons you get and more ammunition you get. And boy, do you ever need more ammunition later on in this game. So let's go ahead and start upgrading the weapon. 
It takes a day for upgrade. You see here, I got a Zaku one as a partner. This is where you can order new mold suits. You see Zaku one, Zaku two. Zaku one's obviously cheaper at 1600. I recommend just going ahead and get the Zaku one. They're cannon fodder at this point. They're not really all that help, and you can always resell them. Go ahead, and get yourself a pilot to get in there. And that way they can go get wrecked. This is where you save and delete. This is your data. Basically, it shows you information on your mobile suit that you can already see in the hangar. Not really useful. And next turn, obviously, just changes to the next day. This is basically already explaining everything I just explained. Our new pilot has arrived, and main weapon is up, which means it looks like it ammo increased. We still got two more days, so let's keep going. As you can see, with the uh, level markers there, armor, power, aim, speed, and we go to Zaku 1. You can see that the Zaku 1 sucks. Yes, it does. Alright, uh... Upgrading. Our Zaku 1 has arrived. And more weapon up. Looks like more ammunition, I'm guessing. Yep, I got a 280mm uh, bazooka on top of a 120 machine gun. Yeah, bazooka's alright. You don't get a whole lot of um, ammunition for it until you max out your weapons, unfortunately. So, we got a mission tomorrow, so we'll do one more upgrade. We'll put our pilots in. Gail Turner. And... Gwen. You can actually issue commands too later on as you up you level up your main character. Oop, Zaku cannons available now. Uh, oh, we got a special weapon, which that's going to be the grenade, probably if I recall correctly. Uh, supply mobile suit. Well, I don't recall the Zaku cannon being altogether that good. I'm not going to buy it because a I don't have enough points for it. But I don't recall the Zaku cannon being altogether that good of a mobile suit. You have a cannon, and I think that's all it gets until you upgrade the weapons, and it'll give you a machine gun and a lot of other stuff. So let's get to going on the mission. Now oh, let's save real quick. This I did notice while running on the emulator, this game is a little crash happy, so it don't hurt to save. All right. Jungle. Federation base. Destruction of their mobile suits as severe below. You just obviously conquer the enemy. Basically, go fuck shit up. With the failure of the assault on our base, the enemy forces in the jungle have all but been defeated. We'll use this opportunity to capture the enemy base of the north. We ah, good beer. Good, good beer. And has called in reinforcements. The possibility of enemy reinforcements launching an attack on our base cannot be dismissed. Keep watching this strategically vital southwestern area and hmm. take the enemy base. And basically, destroy all that. And that's basically the whole name of the game on this game. Uh, I can call it the Bazooka or the 120. You've seen that, so let's go with the Bazooka. Same thing with the support, your two supports. You can actually choose their weapons, or you can put it to empty and they won't be there for you. Like I said, they make good cannon fodder. And if the enemy's shooting them, they're not shooting you. Our target is the base on the opposing shore. Eliminate the enemy defense force while protecting our vital position to the southwest. Alright, yep, as you can see, we've got grenades and the bazooka. A Federation Defense Force is approaching. Don't let your guard down. Heh. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. The bigger the dot, the means the mobile suit. The smaller ones probably, it usually means like tanks and stuff like that.
Time to conserve ammo. It's kind of weird. Uh, those tanks should be a lot bigger. I mean, given the fact these mobile suits are... Whatchamacallit. Will you stop shooting me? Emergency transmission! Enemy reinforcements! The reinforcements are mainly mobile tanks. <sighs> yeah, of course, we're not gonna send tanks. But given the tanks have a. Uh, what, 180 millimeter cannons in this game? Or in the uh, anime? Oh, I see them. It'd be nice if my partners, uh, you know, would catch up. arms and legs and stuff like that came off of them. Let's go take this opportunity to resupply. This is one of the cool things I actually liked about this game. You can resupply your mobile suit. Unfortunately, you can't swap out magazines and stuff like that. You basically like, get all you get. Do, 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 do. What sucks is when you run out of ammunition and you got a lot of Reload enemies complete. coming at you. Let's take a look at the status. Both my Zaku 1s, because they are hiding behind a mountain, did nothing. You are good. Oop, trying to shoot me. Is there anybody left? Oh, yep, you are. Emergency transmission. Enemy reinforcements. The reinforcements are mainly mobile Oop. suits. As you can see, I got some holes in me too. There you are. Grenade to the back. Destruction of enemy force confirmed. No sign of reinforcements. The Federation's been driven out of this region. It belongs to us for now. Yeah, for now. We should be able to hold this base. We're lucky to have had you fighting alongside us. I pray for your further fortune in this war. Yeah, for now. That's called foreshadowing. Oof, I took a lot of damage that battle. As you can see, I got an A rank because, well, my mobile suit got damaged. Oh well. It happens. Federation Movement Indonesia. Federation forces left Indonesia are heading to the weapons development base in Australia. We intend to respond by sending our own assault force. And again, more stuff I've already explained. Operation Map of Ruins. The ruins is just outside of Sydney, where Operation British dropped a colony on Australia because, well, they screwed up. Uh, advanced escort. All right. Let's see. Go to hangar. My mobile suit's the only one that's been damaged because my partners did nothing. That's always good. Ruins. I got four days, so let's go. Let's 
Butterfly. Claws. Yeah, that's another character. I would hold off until you can get a good ally to have lots of points behind them. Because uh, the more points they actually, the more useful they are. Later on in the game, you'll get like access to good partners that are actually useful. They will actually kill enemies for you. Instead of these guys where they just stand around and get stuck on mountains. Now, as you can see, my mobile suit's fully repaired. Sometimes it'll take two days, or maybe even three days sometimes if your mobile suit got destroyed to fully repair. Let's go ahead and keep upgrading. There's one particular gun I want to get my hands on that is seen in the uh, Stardust memory. The uh, MMP-80 weapon. And it's brutal in this game. Not quite beam weapon legendary, but, you know, it still does the job. As days go on, your characters will cycle through from poor all the way to very good. And they'll, once they hit very good for a day or two, they'll go back to being poor. So sometimes it's almost beneficial to go ahead and actually go and take a mission early. That way you're not going into the battle of poor, uh, poor health characters. Alright, tomorrow will be the next battle. Alright, weapon up. Did it give me a... Oh, yep. Magill gun. Uh, I've tried using this. I'll try to bring it out on an easier mission. I recall this mission being difficult, because this is an escort mission. Magill gun sucks. It's absolutely terrible. Now, as you can see, Gale Turner's poor health be even less useful than normal. Oh, yep. Go ahead and save. System, save. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Advanced Escort. Protect target. Our forces have begun a campaign against an enemy weapons development base on the Australian continent. An advanced force has already been deployed, but it will likely run into enemy resistance near the Old City. You are to support the advanced force. Head to the Old City immediately. The ruins of the Old City could provide perfect cover for ambush. Get there before our advanced force arrives and eliminate any enemies. Yeah. The tank, uh, your, the ones you're guarding. Um, you don't get a resupply in this mission, so I highly suggest going with the machine gun. The uh, Magell gun looks uh, pretty useful with the damage it puts out, 120, and the amount of ammunition you get for it, but for some reason they set this up where you have to turn your body to shoot the gun. You can't, you know, move the gun around. Your whole mobile suit has to move in line, which makes no sense. When everything else, like the rocket launcher, you can shoot over your shoulder and everything. Alright, Gale's... Yeah, we'll just have to do what we got. Maybe later on I'll upgrade all... I'll buy all the mobile suits later on. forces are gathering east of the ruins. They're probably aiming to halt our advance. Destroy the enemy forces and back up our tanks. Alright. We heard about you guys. Lead the way. There's one over here. We're gonna get just... Go mess him up right now. Oh, and there's no friendly fire here. No, you don't. Those are gym type D. As you can see, there's some more targets coming in, and these are gun tanks. 
that they suck in this game. Monsters coming up behind us. Oop, he's got a beam weapon. Oh, you take a lot of damage. Oop, got him. Well, partners actually did something. Alright, Magella tank. Top tanks. Yeah, these are awfully strong forces. Now, as I was saying, I think I was starting to say, given that these mobile suits are 60 foot tall, most modern tanks are about 40 feet wide, or 40 feet long, you'd think these are, you know, more applicable. Funny thing, there's two different dialogues. When I test places, uh, tested this earlier, if you save all of them, they, you know, tell you how great you are. That one, obviously, not so great. Oh, I got an S rating for that, even though I uh, lost one of the tanks. That's a surprise. Military base. Oh, <laughs> this mission. Oh, AC guy. That is a... Uh, good mobile suit. Alright, I got a rank up award, which means I've been promoted to Master Sergeant. It doesn't come with anything. Some of them come with, uh, you could issue different commands to your partners. Uh, breakdown. What happened to Zaku 1 here? Oh. He lost one of his arms. Gee, not good. He's, uh, critical, so they're basically useless. Let's go ahead and buy the AC guy. And I'll show that off here when I check out the new uh, mission. We got four days, cool. No other missions that I need to know about? Good. Alright. Nope, got some pilots on. That pilot has a hundred reflex. I've, one thing I've noticed, if it has a good reflex, they seem to actually do good. So I think I am actually going to go buy that pilot while I'm at it. Alright, Zaku 1. As you can see, his arms are still blinking red, which means they're basically held on with duct tape and hopes and wishes. I'm going to keep customizing this. Um, Ammunition doesn't seem to matter for your um, allies because they don't ever seem to run out of ammo. But we're going to keep upgrading. AC guys arrived. And where's my AC guy? There he is. Oh, you don't get new weapons on it, but you can increase the ammunition. This mobile suit comes with missiles in one arm and beam weaponry in the other on top of head Vulcans. Very, very handy. Let's go ahead and start molt upgrading him. Oh, and I'll put myself inside. Because this will be my new pulp mobile suit for now. Nunzaku 2. Ah, there it is. The MMP-80 machine gun. It, has a, it fires a weaker bullet than the 120mm, but it fires at least twice the rate, if not faster. So you can put more ammunition on target. We're going to keep upgrading because there's going to be some missions that are like a day apart. So having a spare mobile suit that's fully upgraded is very handy to have. And we got two more days to the mission starts. Alright, he's fully maxed out on it. 
level eight's the highest you can go, so we'll go with attack next. This raises damage, obviously. Defense raises defense. AC guy, he does not come with a lot of ammo off the bat, so getting more ammo is definitely crucial. Matter of fact, I am going to keep... Matter of fact, I'm going to put myself back in Zaku 2 because I remember this mission is a something else type of mission. And then, uh, AC guy, I'm just going to keep building up. And with that, I'm going to save, and I am going to call it for right now. I'll get started here and again in a few, uh, little bit, uh, and I'll see you on my next video.